Okay, continuing our PHP tutorials, we are going to be taking a string of text today and splitting it with a delimiter. So here we go. I'm going to start by creating a PHP file here. I'll call it um, split.php. And when I go into it, I'm going to... Uh, Oh, and I probably should have mentioned in my previous tutorials, and I mentioned this in most of my tutorials, is I'm using Vim as my text editor. Feel free to use whatever editor you feel comfortable using. Uh, that's kind of a personal choice. Um, just make sure it's not a word processor. You want to use some sort of text editor, something designed for editing um, scripts. Anyway, create a, a file called split.php. Added my PHP tags so that I know everything in between uh, this here and this will be PHP code. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a string. And I will call it, what should I call it? Well, we've been working with names, so I'll call it names. So I'll say dollar sign names, and I'll say equals, remember, and each line of code with a semicolon. And uh, I'll just put in a few names here. I'll say uh, Luke, I'll say comma, um, Richard, and I'll say Kirk. Okay, and I, so I have three names here separated by commas. Uh, and on the next line, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do what's called splitting that. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to actually replace the original string uh, here, or the original variable, uh, you can create a new one. Actually, it might be a good idea to create a new one. Um, so I'll call this one name list, and I'll call this one names. I think that'd be good. Um, and then I'm going to issue the split function and pass it. Uh, first, before we pass it our name list uh, variable, I'm going to tell it what I want to split it by. This is a delimiter, and uh, uh, a character that will uh, that we're going to be splitting by. In this case, it is a comma, and so a comma, and so that's inside quotations, and then a comma, and now we're going to pass it the variable holding the names, which in this case is name uh, name dot or name list. Sorry. Okay. So what we have so far, we had created a variable that equals this string. Then we said, okay, we're going to basically make an array uh, called names. I'm not 100% sure if it's technically, yeah, it's an array. So uh, names, and what we're gonna do is, instead of telling it this is uh, the first item in an array, this is the second item, this is the third item, we're gonna say, okay, here's a function called split. We're passing it the list of names, so this list, and each item is separated, in this case, by a comma. Okay, so we got that. So now I can say echo, and I can echo out uh, dollar sign name. Now remember, uh, computers start counting at zero, so we'll say names zero will be the first name, in this case, Luke. Uh, and then we'll give it echo uh, names, and in this case I'll say two, which would be Kirk. So we're skipping Richard here. Um, we can also put this like this, since we're working with HTML here. Put these in with line breaks here. Okay, so if I was to save this now, come up here, F5 to refresh this, uh, we've got our split PHP. When I click on this, we should have two names, Luke and Kirk. There we go. Uh, so let's have a quick look at the HTML. Uh, they're printing out on the same line because there is no new line character. We're giving it line breaks. Uh, if we wanted to, uh, just to make our code a little bit clearer, we could put the backslash N in here, uh, which is a new line character. So now, if I was to refresh this, things look the same on the web page, but if I was to work with the code, it's a little bit easier to read because each thing's on a new line. So once again, we'll quickly review on what we've done so far. We've created a variable that has a string in it, which is three names divided, uh, separated by commas. Then we create an array called names, 
we use the split function, passed it our string, and what we want to split it by. Uh, in this case, a comma. Now, we don't have to use a comma, because uh, let's say there's commas in your string already, like you have an address or something in there. You can use other characters, in this case, such as a pipe character. So as long as uh, we put here what we want to split it by, and those are within our string here, the output should be the same. Warning. Oh, maybe you can't use a pipe character. Uh, maybe if I uh, empty. Okay, that was a bad example. <laughs> I'm sure someone will comment on that. But let's try just spaces. We'll split each name up by a space. And um, I will refresh this. And there we go. Now uh, it's split. And the this is our current HTML output. This is our previous. You can see it's identical. We're just splitting things by different characters here. Um, now, as you can see, we've created uh, an array here. Uh, so we have names 0, names 2. We also have uh, Richard, which would be names 1. Uh, so they're each in their own little space. Um, but we can actually create a list of names and give each of them their own variable name. So let's do that now. Uh, we're going to... Uh, let's see. We got, well, we'll use the same, well, no, a better example would be something like uh, splitting things up, once again, by a comma. And here I'll say, I'll give this guy a last name, and we'll give him an occupation of diner owner. Okay. And once again, we will split this with a comma. But instead of just putting it into an, a regular array like this, what we're going to do is we're going to create a list. So I'm going to say list, and then in parentheses here, I'm going to list what the three separate things, because I know in this case there's three separate things. What I'm going to do is I'm going to say dollar sign F name, and then I'll say comma, and I'll say dollar sign L name for last name, and I'll do say dollar sign... Um, uh, I'll just say dollar sign OP for occupation. Um, so now what's going to happen is not only are we going to split this string by commas, but what we're going to do is instead of giving them each uh, a number, we're actually putting them into different variables here. So instead of echo name, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to say first name colon and then I'll say dollar sign F name Oops. here I will say last name and this should be name not names colon and I'll say dollar sign L name and then I'll do a another line I'll say echo uh, job title colon dollar sign OP and we'll give that a line break as well and new line character okay so we should get three lines of output if I've typed everything right here we'll save that refresh this and here we go we have first name last name and job title and it's a little bit easier this way you actually have uh, variables that represent uh, each thing uh, rather than uh, an array that um, you may not know. Hey, what, what, is, what is the first item in the array, the second item in the array? Here we know F name means first name. Uh, and of course, you can always add in other uh, HTML here. Uh, maybe make it look a little bit nicer. Once again, this is very basic code, but... Actually, probably want that in there. So, basically, I'm just making. And once again, you should you should definitely know HTML before you start moving on to something like PHP. Um, but I'm just making everything bold here. Not everything, but the 
the first portion of each line. We'll save that. We'll refresh it. So it's a little bit clearer to read because you got this is bold and this is not. So definitely if you're actually making a website, you can make it look a lot nicer than that. But you got the basic idea here. We'll quick we quick we we'll quickly review. We are creating a variable here. Uh, that contains a string. This is the string. It's a first name, last name, and uh, job title or occupation divided by commas here, separated by commas. Then we're creating a list and we're giving each item in the list its own variable name. And I corresponded the, the variable name with the item that it's equal to. So F name for first name, L name for last name, OP for occupation. Uh, and then we're splitting uh, we're using the split function. We're passing it the variable or the string that we've already created. And then we're also passing it what we want to split it by, the delimiter here. Once that's done, each of these variables have a new value. And we're echoing those out onto lines in HTML format. And that is pretty much it for this tutorial. That is the split command. The next tutorial we're going to go over, we're going to go over the explode command, which is pretty much identical uh, but with a few different a uh, few little differences but um, we're definitely gonna go over that in the next tutorial so I hope you enjoyed these PHP tutorials I'm working on it's a series I'm working on this is video number six I believe um, check out there should be an annotation to the playlist um, so click on that watch the full playlist if you're enjoying these PHP tutorials definitely give these videos thumbs up comment let me know that way I know what you guys are interested in and once again, this is uh, just, you know, working on server-side web scripts. Um, PHP is a very common one. Uh, and we're going to definitely be using this in uh, cooperation with client-side scripts, such as JavaScript or libraries for JavaScript, such as jQuery, which I've been doing tutorials on. And we'll be able to make uh, very powerful applications that are easily shared among pretty much any device you have um, as long as it has a current operating system on it regarding what the op regardless of what the operating system is that's once again one of the great things about server-side scripts is it's running on your server which you're in control of so you can do pretty much whatever you want on that end and just I'll put the information to a web browser so I thank you for once again for watching please visit my website filmsbychris.com chris with a k should be a link in the description and I hope that you have a great day